My husband and I, we run a small diversified ranch. We do pasture broilers, we do layers. We have a registered Savannah meat goat herd. I also have Nubian dairy goats that I make um, soap and cheese out of sometimes. And we also run a commercial herd of Black Angus cattle and we're organic. I couldn't do this without my wife. She was kind of a motivator in trying to diversify and hence the chickens, the, the layers and the broilers. Dave and Jeannie Steffen were the ones that um, started us in the pasture poultry 11 years ago. I don't think I'd be doing it now, 11 years later, without adding certain features that make life easier with portable waterers and self feeders. In this business of trying to raise goats and, and kidding goats and calving cows, all at the same time, you, you have to be a multitasker, that can be tough. We found that we're a small ranch. Instead of thinking bigger and having a high debt load, we thought stay where we are and think smarter. So we became diversified and more sustainable in our various multi-species operation. And we enjoy animals too. I grew up on a farm in South Central Indiana and my mom had broilers and she had chickens also. Goats was new to both of us, but we greatly enjoy our goats, and I also grew up around cattle, too. With the chickens, with the manure that they have, especially on the broilers, we rotate them through our pastures and our hay field. The nitrogen adds more natural fertilizer, and what our main plan is, everything gives birth or arrives in the spring, the first week of May. Um, the cattle give birth, the goats kid out, and we have 330 broilers to send and usually 50 to 60 layer pullets to send. And I'm a nurse by day, and so I take off two weeks of work each year, so I'm helping with the birthing process of the critters. So it's really fun to move them chickens in the morning to watch how they follow the cage, how they move with the cage, because they know that they're going to a fresh area a fresh spot where there's a plethora of more grasshoppers and this year there's there's getting to be some grasshoppers. With the animals working together the chickens are in the same pastures that the cattle and the goats are and right now the cattle and the goats are separate but they will graze side by side with each other. Goats are more browse like weedy browse and the cattle with the grass so if you follow they each eat different things and help each other. Noxious weeds always, in, in my case, Canadian thistle has always been an, an issue being organic, whether we can't spray, you know, a, a chemical, a pesticide of, you know, Roundup or 2,4-D. So I have found that mechanical control and, and goats help with my Canadian thistle problem. With fencing for goats, we live out here on open range. We have neighbors that are very friendly, but with goats, it isn't the standard fencing that you use for cattle where it's like the five or six strand barbed wire. We use what we call back east farmer fence, the red wire fence. You can tell there's a strip where we've moved it, where the nutrients is soaked in. The grass is greener, it's often taller. And the next year we definitely see it. And we rotate through the various pastures um, with our chickens just to have different areas get that nitrogen for the manure for more of a natural fertilizer. If you're considering raising goats, I would recommend going through your local conservation service, um, your ag office, especially if you're not used to raising livestock. Goats were new to us. We researched it for a year before, talked to other people who are running goats. Um, I'm kind of nerdy. I like books. <laughs> So I talked to that, I also talked to veterinarians about running goats, common diseases, and we planned about two years ahead of time before we started our goat herd for that. And also if you have a small acreage with goats, they're very herd family oriented. You can't have one, you gotta have at least two or they will be upset, they won't be calm. You, you have to work together when you're, when you're running a multi-species operation where when you're trying to do a lot of things and. You, you need a good partner, and, and Susie's definitely there. Your um, place and your critters should come first, and they will take care of you. And they have for us, for George and I, our land and our cattle take care of us.